Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Vertigo here and let's continue onward. In the last episode, we were betrayed. Treachery. By the man... By a man named Terran Logain. The one Kaelin trusted above all else. And that makes the wound sting even more. And right now we're in a cabin with Morgan. How the hell did we get here? Yes, where am I? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Rescue? She rescued me? You mean from the tower? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. What happened to the Grey Wardens? And the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. I'll go then. I will stay and make something to eat. <laughs> okay. So Morgan has saved us. Well, Clemens mother saved us, but Morgan bandaged my wounds. Okay. So let's level up. Level up. Uh, level straight 14. Rest. Constitution. Oh, sweet. Oh, great. Uh, one moment. I need to, s need to decide what to get. I could do with improved coercion. Literal cost. Oh, good gracious. I can't see a damn thing. I think it's. It's 10 cunning. I don't know. Uh, one moment. I think I may be able to increase my cunning to 12. Yeah, I'm um, gonna do that. Okay, that's cunning 12. Good. So I'm gonna get in groove coercion. Oh, maybe I should have gotten stone one. Hmm. You know what? I can do without coercion, so. Yeah. However, I will increase my cunning to 1, just so I can actually get it later on. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, sorry. I have an idea. Spend the money on coercion, but spend the attributes to get coercion, but get improved combat training. That way, I can get it much faster upon the next level. Sounds good. Oh wait, no I can't. Ah, never mind. Okay, um... It's Stonewall, so I can assign that. Stonewall, you can't use 
in place of shield defense. So I will replace it. Kari Wilds. It's been a long time since we've been here. Well, not really. Most powerful slain, Jinlock Elk. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You, you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm not, thanks to Morrigan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Hmm. So we have a legendary witch named F Flemeth. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, crap. No, you, you can't be serious. Damn it. Alright, just, uh... Okay, uh, sorry, um... My battery on my controller died. Just one moment. I have to... What the heck? I can't... I don't know what just happened. Uh, just give me a few seconds to. Okay, um. Uh, sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm just trying to find my charger. Alright, there we go. Um, that seems to work. Oops. Button again. Those things. One. What on earth? I think I may have frozen up. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, I froze up. Damn it! Ah, uh, um, okay. I'm sorry about this, folks. Uh, I guess I have to cut the video off here. Uh, as always, folks, that's all the time we have for today. So, join me next time when we do something else. This is Vertigo, signing off. Later, folks. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Vertigo here and uh, okay, this is going to be a part of the um, part 16. I figured out what was wrong as soon as I clicked off. So this will be uh, the second part of uh, part 1, I think. Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, let's go. Hmm. I suppose we should thank you. If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. Is there some way we can repay you? <laughs> All that I wish you to do is what you are meant to do. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Of course not. 
But we were fighting the Dark Spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. What is this Archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. Mm. An Archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore exactly. history. Those who do not study history are bound to repeat it. What would Terran what would the Terran hope to begin to gain by betraying the king? The throne? He's the queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. Perhaps we should go to him then. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Sure, the other allies we can call on. Of course. The treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from Dwarves, Elves, Mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a Blight. I may be old, but Dwarves, Elves, Mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what the Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Ready as will ever be. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. <laughs> what? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Thanks, but Morgan... Uh, all right, um... Okay, uh, you know what? That is all the time we have for today. So, join me next time when we do something else. This is Vertigo, signing off. Later, folks.